What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shar. Y'all know what time it is. Hit the like button, turn your notification on, and subscribe to the channel because I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Listen, y'all make it do what it do, what it do, what it do. And remember to speak when you walk on in the chat because ain't nobody sleep with you last night. If you aren't following me on you know, any forms of social media, go ahead and follow me at TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Connects, and even now Patreon at Shar's Reality Number Six. If you aren't following my backup page, go ahead and follow me at Shards World number six. I just, I just dropped some amazing content over there. So go check it out. Listen, I love you, checkmates. Don't y'all let nobody tell you nothing different. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all my day ones, to all my flip floppers, and to all my newbies. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's see who's in the chat. Let's see who's in the chat. Hey. <laughs> All right, yo, what's up? Make it do what I'm doing with a do paper chaser. What's up? Y'all know we got a whole lot to cover. Mama B's in the building. What's up? Betty in the building. Stephanie in the building. Hello, hello, hello. Miss Cheryl in the building. Cynthia in the building. Brenda in the building. What's up? Purple Queen says, hey, honey, I'm here and I'm activated. What's up? Um, Beverly in the building. What's up? Who's the puppet? Chad, there's a whole lot of them running around here. But um, you know how Melody do. She gives a little bit uh, just so you can get an understanding of what's going on, but not too much, right? She's quiet um, until she's not no more. So listen, make a do what a do what a do. Charlotte. <laughs> Everybody spells my name like that, uh, Charlotte. I'd be like, no, drop the E. Take the O out and add an E. Uh, everybody spells my name like that, but good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, let's see, Yvette in the building. What's up? Connie, I think I got you, but if I didn't, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Tyra in the building. Jack Russell in the building. What's up? I see y'all coming in here. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Um... Is it, what is it? Meet, free, child, listen. Welcome to the chat, welcome to the chat. I would butcher the hell out your name, put it in the blender and chop it the hell up. Don't charge it to my heart, charge it to my head. Edith, how are you, how are you? What's up? Dr. Ann says I'm back for another session. What's up? Listen, I was almost not coming this morning. I was like, I'll just make a video. But sometimes making those videos are time consuming, child. I'll be over here editing for like two hours. So it's easier just to come on, say what I got to say, and move the hell along. So good morning to everybody. Good morning. Um, Barbara in the building. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I see a lot of new faces in the chat. I am so excited about that. Yesterday I got off here, I had about eight or seven new sub subs, so I was excited about that. We're growing, guys, and I want you guys to know I thank you for that. I appreciate you guys for trusting the vision. Not only do you guys stay here with me, but a lot of you follow me over on my family's page where the kids and I kind of just, you know, just take our hats off and relax, right? Um, and you're just going to get the real deal, all right? So uh, I appreciate you for that. Um, Char, who's the puppet masters at work. So yeah, I understand <laughs> you want me to talk fast. I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Uh, Miss Outstanding. I never saw that before, but welcome, welcome, welcome. Listen, 73 in the chat. You guys are coming in early. I want to start off with a recording. Okay. I have a couple mods here. Um, can we get a mod to write in the chat so I could pin the comment? um of it being sensitive content some way or another if i knew how to do it i would do it myself but i don't know how to do it so uh let's see if a mod can um add that for me so that i can ping your comment before we play this recording you know the diddy situation and i know that it's you know uh miss price 60 welcome to the chat i know that it's a handful for anybody that has been um you know 
and any type of sexual trauma, I know that it could be a mouthpiece, you know, a mouthful, um, and it is heartbreaking, okay? Good afternoon, Shar and everyone. Hi, Cricket22, what's up? Um, I know that it's a mouthful, right? While a lot of people are celebrating it, I don't, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. I don't consider it to be a celebration because a lot of people are affected uh, by this whole thing, right? It's a celebration, but the people and the amount of people that was affected by this is, is, is crazy, okay? So it's a celebration, but is it really a celebration? Because these people are going to suffer for a long time. For all the victims uh, that he allegedly uh, attacked or was a part of that, for all the people that willingly participated, okay? Because let's not leave that out. People willingly participated. And then when he uh, probably didn't do what they say, they was like, oh, it's this. Up, oh, he violated me this. Up, oh, he violated And because it's already a case uh, people are already looking into him. That's why these, you know, these these allegations are as far as they were. And I'm not saying the man didn't do it. That's not what I'm saying. I believe he did everything that everyone is accusing him of. But is it everybody? Is it some of them? Or is it, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there? I don't know, right? That's between them and God. But what I will say is this is a shame, okay? It's a shame because men of P. Diddy's statue don't believe that they can be touched, okay? The Bible says what has been done then will be done again. There's nothing new under the sun. So you cannot hide what you are about. Okay. Can't hide who you are. Okay. Um, I'm still going with hotel, even though CK is the favorite pick. Yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> we're going to definitely get on that. I'm going to just scratch P Diddy since it's in the news and it's very popular. I'm going to scratch him and then I'm going to jump into Melody. Okay. Um, so with that being said, it's pretty, it's a shame, right? It's a shame to the victims. It's a shame for him to have, you know, God grant you all of these things. Uh, you be like top notch and pretty much everything, have everything anybody would have wanted. And you still abuse it uh, by not choosing to go get help. Okay. Let's not minimize it that there's a problem here. Okay. P Diddy allegedly has a deeper issue that we can see here on the screen. Okay. For this type of behavior, to occur on numerous occasions, at the occasion, at the occasion, at the occasion, at the occasion, there is an underlying issue here, whether we want to see it or not, okay? And we don't want to minimize that, right? As grown folks, we should be able to have a grown folks conversation. Um, and it is what it is, right? He has a deeper rooted issue here, right? For him to uh, do these horrible, traumatic things as reported uh, to people, there's something else going on, okay? Um, you guys are all speaking. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, I truly believe that they couldn't get him for bigger impacts, um, death. Um, so this is the way he will pay for his crime against unaliving these two men. Um, in my opinion, yeah, it's going down, Stephanie. Um, I see 50 cent has a lot to say. Um, if you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys can see the picture I posted over there with Sent and Diddy in it, right? Uh, I'm wondering, and this is just my belief, right? Um, and my theory, okay? It may not be no truth to it, so I'm going to say allegedly, but there's an underlying hate for 50 Cent also, okay? 50 Cent also, there's an underlying issue. Why are you going so hard, okay? Yeah, everybody had a chuckle, one or two, but why are you going so hard, right? Um... It's the same thing with the R. Kelly stuff. He did it. He should pay the crime, but we celebrating it. How many people of other cultures, okay, let's not miss that, are doing the same exact thing as far as uh, drugging the individuals, right? As far as, you know, sexualizing the individuals, okay? As far as making them do things unwanted. So I don't think that it's a celebration or a hee hee ha ha moment, honestly. Um, I, I, you know, I heard of fun and all of that stuff, but in the, in one sense to another, y'all all better go ahead and put your, uh, your kneecaps on. Cause they about to scrape y'all knees the hell up because in my opinion, a lot of you guys are doing the same exact thing. You just didn't get caught yet. A lot of y'all are into a whole lot of stuff, uh, that you shouldn't be into. So tread lightly because you ain't squeaky clean yourself. If you ask me and in my opinion, okay, now that's your brother. You know why that's your brother? Because he shares the same race as you, okay? He's African American as um, African American as you, right? So to celebrate this, you know, yes, he should be called, yes, he should be captured, but I think it's a drag. I think it's ignorant. Um, I think it's too far uh, to each his own, right? Um, 
And I'll use Martel as an example. When Martel go down for this revenge pee, which he did do and he did commit the crime, he should be held accountable. But it's not a celebration because we are celebrating another one of our black men sitting behind bars for stupidity, okay? For something that could have been event, um, prevented because they're ignorant, okay? Because they don't take people presence and people appearance and people value serious, okay? You don't get to violate somebody um, because you want to. You don't get to tell somebody, give me your body, okay? The Bible says that our bodies are the temple of the Lord, right? It belongs to him. We don't get to come in and violate anybody, all right? So yes, you should be held accountable for your actions, but are we really celebrating it to this extent? It's disgusting. It's nasty. And this is just my opinion. Most people might think it's funny, but it's not funny at all. Okay. You had it all. God has given it all to you and you felt tremendously. Okay. By just thinking you are above the law. Okay. It's karma and she isn't finished knocking at doors. It's going to be much more to come out and we are going to be speechless. Absolutely true. If you commit the crime, you should do the time. Absolutely. Hey, Shar. Uh, Charlotte L. Yes, yes, yes. I agree. Um, yes, I saw that 50 in those comments. Yeah, I don't find it funny, but the picture that I dropped on Instagram shows that 50 uh, and him had some type of encounter, whether it was a business relationship or not. The reality of it is, uh, why are you so mad? I have questions. What is the behind the picture? Was you violated at some point? Okay, I have questions. I want to know because there's something that will... It's one thing for saying, you know, we got them, but to celebrate it and want to do that, you're, you're dragging the hell out of it. And it's just not cool. I truly believe that they couldn't. Okay, we read that one. Okay, okay. Making sure I'm not missing anybody. People are also saying he has something to do with the KP death as well. Yes, they are saying that. I saw that. Okay, um, true. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm going to play this recording, which I got off of Twitter. Um... I must say that it is sensitive content. I'll go back and add it myself. Um, and when I edit the video, but it is sensitive content. Okay. We are not going to, um, no names are mentioned in this video, so we will be okay. Um, but it is disturbing. So if it's too much for you, go ahead and log off. But this is the internet and you can hear some strange, wild things. This is being alleged that it is uh, Mr. Meek, okay? Stay with me, Mr. Meek and Diddy encounter, okay? We won't say what encounter, but you guys can pick one plus one is two. Um, this is their encounter and it's pretty sickening, okay? So uh, let me turn my volume down before it plays and then I'll turn it back up. Um, it's sickening, I might add. All right, okay. One more time for the ones in the back that didn't get the memo, okay? So, like I said, people has willingly participated and some people has been violated, okay? So, yeah, one more time for the ones in the back. This is not a, a chat for children. I said that already. This is not a chat for people that can't use their critical thinking skills, okay? We talking about, right? Um, nothing's off the table. What's going on here? What are we listening to? Just what you think, Elf Mick. Um, this is Mr. Meek and Diddy, okay? Um, and it sounds like a willingly um, encounter. Uh, we ain't saying what kind of encounter, but it sounds like willing account encounter, okay? So let's rewind it um, so we can get to the beginning. Okay, Elf says she get it, so that's it. That's all that matters, okay? 
Um, 138 in the chat. Y'all hit the like button. It's pretty disgusting, okay? Um, but again, this is my point. People dragging, but I get I be, I guarantee we're gonna find out uh that these people don't want their names to be included in their willing participation of the event, okay? We're going to watch our mouth and we're going to keep it cute. But everybody here is critical thinkers and you can figure it out. It is disgusting. Um, it is nasty, but I don't believe that he is. He has taken advantage of these grown behind uh, men the way that they are trying to make it out to be. Okay. Um, I believe a lot of the other stuff that's going on, I do. But a lot of those men in the industry, I believe they liked it and they all DL if you ask me. If you want to be that, then be that. That's your truth, right? Live in it. Stand in it, right? Stand on your two toes, okay? Your big toe, as a matter of fact. Stand on that. But I say that to say a lot of this stuff is will and participation, okay? Now, it's alleged because it's alleged. But you guys know that sound just like Mr. Meek. And it definitely is Mr. Diddy. Okay, so it's all allegedly in our opinion. Um, but his house, his homes were raided. Okay, um, not just one. I believe it was two homes exactly that was raided. Um, and during that time of them raiding the home, that his sons were arrested and placed in handcuffs. Okay. Um, now I believe that Diddy knew that they were coming. Okay. I don't believe that he's just magically in Augusta. I think it is with his uh, on his private jet. I believe that he knew that they were coming. Um, I also believe that he probably didn't want to freak the children out. Um, so he probably just left them. This is just my opinion, guys. Um, but like I said, while Diddy is going to get everything he deserved to the people that uh, he violated, right? I don't believe that his children should have to suffer for his uh, nasty and disgusting ways, right? And his poor choices. He recently just got out on um, when he was at uh, the BET Awards accepting that reward. That was a part of his cockiness, okay? <laughs> Baby, listen. That was a part of his cockiness because if he was smart, he wouldn't have either, even went because he's in a high profile, okay? It's a high profile case. So because he wanted to show the world with his condescending ass, right, that he's still the man, he popped his up at the BET Awards where he really should have stayed home and stayed low, but he didn't do that, okay? Right after that, this is when this raid took place, okay? So now, here he is, um, you know, his home, not one, not two, I think it's three homes that were invaded, you know, and raided by Homeland Security, which is crazy to me, right? And like 50 Cent did say, you know, they ain't, them folks just don't come for no reason. So it is bad, guys. It's bad, it's bad, it's bad. Um, his home in Los Angeles and Miami was raided as a matter of fact. Okay. Um, it says enforcement sources says agents working from Homeland security are reported raiding Diddy, uh, properties in Los Angeles and Miami report state. There is helicopters overhead and local law enforcement is also present. Authorities are on the property, walking through the house with the pow pals drawn. Okay. And people are being questioned in front of the house. Okay. We learned that that was later his sons. It is unclear if Diddy is present. Um, and then they said that they will update us as it go on. Um, and like I said, it's a hot mess, child. It's a hot mess. Then later on, footage reportedly showed Diddy walking around outside of the Miami airport after the homes were uh, raided. And he does look distressed, okay? Um uh, um, a few hours after the two of his homes were raided by federal agents, as we previously reported, Diddy private plane was traced to the Caribbean's islands today. There was no evidence showing he was on the plane or not, according to TMZ. While at the Miami airport, Diddy and others were stopped by federal agents, okay? They say the footage shows him waiting outside of the customs uh, office for his colleagues he was with, okay? It's bad guy. No, he is home in Miami Beach. Uh, not Miami. Star Island is okay. Thank you, Journey, for clearing that up. Child, I know nothing about it, so I take your word for it, okay? Um, in New York. Oh wow, Miss Price. That's crazy. He's about to join Kelly in the state prison. Yeah, they're gonna be roomies for sure. CC in the building. What's up, baby? Make a do what it do what it do. Yep, but I also think many of them 
um, or are by. Yes, I believe you. Where are you at? I just saw it. Um, are by. Yes, I believe you. Uh, karma is exposed to all these folks in different industries. And if I was, um, if I was Diddy, I wouldn't take this by myself because trust me, a lot of these people were uh, in it. Okay. And when I say in it, they was in it. They died there willingly. Okay. That goes for pastors. That goes for uh, mentors. That goes for lawyers. All of those people, I wouldn't take this by myself. Nobody puts the pow pow to Diddy head and told him to do it. Absolutely not. But like I said, a lot of folks was in on this. And they're saying that Jay is next, okay? Um, his kids are adults and we are willing participants and were involved in a solicitation of minors and others' corrupt activities. I have no sympathy, allegedly. Committed to the journey. Welcome to the chat. Um, absolutely. Um, I've heard that as well, right? Um, there's only so much detail we can kind of like go into here um because we just got to watch our words it's a sensitive and high profile case which means that anything mentioned about them uh you know can flag the video so i just want to keep it a little bit you know down without too much detail but yes i also heard that as well committed to the journey that his children will participate participants they also were allegedly helping uh to uh you know make these girls um you know a little loopy if we can keep it cute right a little loopy and under the influence that's what we're going to say okay and um they would know what they doing right so i hope he prepared those children to answer the right questions you just left them there right um i hope you prepared them i hope your lawyers prepared you because your a is definitely going to jail but you have to act ultimately ask yourself was it worth it okay and i could just honestly say i don't think you, you thought this through okay and i believe that after Kelly got arrested, a lot of them should have shaped up, right? But they refused to because they thought they was of high powers. Nothing is above God, okay? Um, the airport is located. Okay, okay, okay. I got you. New media is lazy with the locations. Got you. Um, Journey said, I'm going to clear it Um Jeremy said, I'm going to clear it up for you, child. This is where it's at. Thank you so much because I know nothing about it. I'm a Jersey girl. Hi, Sherry. How are you? And welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Um, yes, Dr. Queen. I mean, Dr. Ann. It's all listen. Um, you guys are all speaking to one another. All right. So let's move on to um, Portia and Simon, child. Now, this marriage, let me tell you all something. This, this divorce um is about to get real 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 crazy it's about to be like a um kim zoziak and her husband right it's about to get real ugly okay simon is if you ask me okay he's real femaleish okay and like i said before if you guys heard me talk about this before 174 in the chat y'all hit the like button okay um like i said before uh Portia, this behavior from Simon didn't just happen overnight. He's been a jerk and you've been pacifying it and allowing it, okay? Um, because you are, you're comfortable with abuse at this point, okay? Because what he's doing um, is taunting you because he knows your triggers and he's learned you and studied you and he knows what's going to upset you, okay? Now, you too old to let a nigga like Simon play in your face. I'm, I'm just going to throw it out there, okay? Um, you're too old to let a nigga like Simon play in your face. Oh, rusty, dusty, crusty behind, okay? I don't give a damn how much money he has. He will not be playing in my face. If you thought you was going to air me out, I'm going to meet you where the hell you are, okay? I'm going to meet you where you are. It was a saying that my sister used to say, where you think you were going to embarrass me at, I'm going to get you back at, okay? So ain't going to be no cute chattery over here. Where you thought you was going to blast me out, I'm going to blast your ass back the same way. That's how that thing go, okay? It's for sure karma for taking someone else's husband. Absolutely, okay? You was hee-hee-ha-ha -ha over there with him when he was blasting filing. Oh, how is it now, okay? Now, I do want to be grown about it. It says I don't believe that, um, you know, the breakup was a karma, but I do believe... Um, that her karma is the way that he's doing her right now, okay? So it's being alleged that um, Portia basically brought the men in all black child to their home um, on multiple occasions. He's saying that, Simon is saying that he had to call the police for peace, okay? Now, Portia, you wilding it. That was the truth. But I, you know, I had some, some, some men in my life where I had to call my goons on them, right, and get it all together. 
So I definitely understand that, all right? I had my brother smooth check in. What we doing, okay? And tell me what type time we on because it ain't going to end well. So we on that type time, let's go, okay? I have five brothers. So, you know, um, one of them has passed on, but my brothers was with it. And wherever I called them from, they will come. And to this day, my brothers will come. Whether they in it or not, they will come. That's not what we're going to do, okay? Little brother, small brother, in between brother, they on their way. With that being said, so I understand, you know, gooning up and getting them together. Oh, you ain't, you want to play with who? You don't want to get my sh Okay, we're going to get it all together. Don't play with me, okay? The year of revelation for every demon. It is, okay? So um, the report is saying that Simon uh, reported that uh, Portia had these men come in, goons, whatever you want to call them, dressed in all black, okay? He says they, he said he filed the report first, but now Simon is coming with the filing of his own and making some bold accusations towards Portia. According to the documents obtained by page six, Simon is claiming that Portia brought an armed, you know, pow pow man to their home. Um, he says she abandoned their home at one point only to return with a man visibly wearing a uh, pow pow for a reason unknown to Gabadia, okay? He then says that he had to call the police to maintain the peace. No, you popping all that tough sh online. What's up now? Keep that same energy. You over here calling people dumb, stupid, dilapidated, and delayed. Or do you have that same energy? I just need to know. Okay. Then a few days later, on March 24th, Portia had mother and her mother's boyfriend allegedly pop up at their house to... Um, Oh, to disalarm the security cameras and tamper with the items and evidence, okay? Since the filing of the instant divorce, wife's action has been erratic, uh, unstable, threatening, harassing to the house of staff, okay? Oh, y'all got staff, huh? -uh. Okay, to the house of staff and the minor children, the document stated, William's behavior has caused safely, safety concerns, especially since there are uh, minor children, Gubadia children, currently living in uh, the marital residence. Also in his filing, Simon claims Portia took calculated steps to marry and divorce him shortly thereafter to um, intentionally trigger parts of their prenup for personal financial gain and greed. Simon concluded uh, his filing by asking the judge to grant him a restraining order against Portia. That would explain why Simon is so damn quiet online, okay? He is so quiet online because he's mastered. You was over here taunting that girl, and she was quiet, okay? And I, ain't, I know, I don't, you know, I don't encourage violence, but I heard of people pulling up for their kind or for their folks, okay? With that being said, you ain't give a damn about her children, okay? You ain't give a damn about... um. PJ, when this was all over, right? You was online calling her all types of stuff. You didn't even try to celebrate uh, PJ's birthday and put your little manhood away, right? You was all energy. With that being said, now is something you real scared and bold. Get the hell up out of here with that, all right? And you saying her behavior is erratic, uh, um, erratic, erratic. Uh, what the hell is yours? Real femaleish, okay? It's real giving, real. Yeah, you knew what I was about to say. It's giving real femaleish. You always crying. You always whining. You got a new girl. If somebody getting some new coochie, that's what the hell you should be consumed in. Why the hell are you over here worrying about the old coochie that you no longer supposedly want? Okay? That's how that should go. Right? If you don't no longer want me, go ahead about your business. But because you still want me in the coochie that you currently in together, you want us to bump coochies together, you know, you just can't leave me alone. It doesn't even make sense. Listen, what link you want me to drop? All that money on the <laughs> on those weddings. Child, and she knew he was that kind of jerk. That ain't just pop up out of nowhere. You know what I mean? It's anything for the media. Um, it's Atlanta. What did he think was going to happen? Exactly. He's better have uh evidence. He better the year of revelation for the demons. Uh, what minor children? I guess he's talking about Gubadia children that's still in the home, because y'all know I ain't think they live with him though, but I could be wrong. So fast forward to now, um, Portia Williams is saying that Simon locked her out. It sounds just like him, Zoziac, and her situation, honey, when, um, when, what was his name, Croy, done took her and locked her outside of the marital bedroom, honey, and uh, she was banging on the door. She said she tired of sleeping on the couch, child. This reminds me of that. Um, but anyway, fast forward to now. Uh, Portia is saying that Simon locked her out of the Georgia 
mansion where they lived and fled to Dubai to prevent her from getting her belongings. I'm sure she had some um, important stuff and, you know, stuff worth value there. But here's the thing. You move too fast. See, Simon, with Simon, you got to be calculated, okay? You got to make sure you with the sh okay? You got to be one step ahead of him because he's a professional crook, in my opinion, okay? So with that being said, you got to be one step ahead of him. When you had those those pow pow men's allegedly come in dressed in all black, they were supposed to be moving your stuff out then. I wouldn't have even given him a chance to lock me out. My stuff would have been already moved. As a matter of fact, before I even filed for divorce, I would have moved my stuff. He would have been on a flight thinking he was visiting his folks or wherever the hell he's doing. And child, I would have played real cute. Bye, baby. I'll see you later. Child, when he came back, the house would have been empty because that's how I do it. You ain't do it right at all, Portia. You move too fast, but you do a lot of shit for uh, social media as well. So that's why you are getting it like this and it's not playing out the way you want to. If your prenup do not work out and he walks away with something of yours or more that he came in with, that's on you because you move too fast and you talk too much and you do too much for social media, okay? With that being said, um, Portia is clapping back at Simon Gubadi. According to the Radar Online, she asked for an emergency hearing after Simon allegedly changed the locks to prevent her from entering the... Um, the Georgia mansion where they both live. Simon hasn't responded to divorce to the divorce petition that Portia filed in February. Nigga, you got the paperwork. You got the paperwork. Sign it. You over there with your big back, you know, with your, your big butt girlfriend over there talking about she look better than Portia. Sign the paperwork. What the hell are you trying to hold me hostage for? It's done. You done broke every rule in the book. At first, when it first happened, I love my wife until death do us part. I love her to the end of times. I love her until the divorce is final. Then all of a sudden, you feeling salt, salty over there with Nene and her crookie behind boyfriend over there that flip and flop off of her. Okay? You over there with her and him feeling a little lobby. You know Hold on, guys. Yeah, feeling a little froggy, you know, and now there's something, you know, you want to move like this, but Portia moved too fast, okay? Not sure, you know, uh, Keisha thinks uh, with her. <laughs> uh, Prosperity Thick Girl, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Y'all go follow Prosperity Thick Girl. She's an amazing content creator. I got wind of her stuff, baby, and I've been laughing ever since. She is funny on sight. Okay, so Portia alleges that Simon has charged um, oh, changed the garage code multiple times to prevent her from accessing the home. She says um, him fleeing to Dubai after doing so um, was vindictive on Monday reports surfaced after Simon claimed Portia brought the pow pow men to her home. It appears she wants to, she wants her belongings. Girl, you should have got them when you brought them in. Okay. Now if you brought them in, you, you didn't do, you didn't do it right. I would empty the whole house. He wouldn't have known what was going on. Okay. I'm with you, Miss Sharp. That's how I would have moved. Yes, you got to play a cue, honey, until you get all of your stuff out that house. I'm getting everything. When I come back, you ain't going to know what the hell hit you, all right? Because I'm disalarming the cameras because we still together as far as you know, okay? I'm disalarming the cameras. You will not, you're not going to know, you know, what's going on. I'm disalarming it. As far as you know, when you call me, baby, the cameras ain't working. You ain't going to see my men carrying them couches out that house, honey, or that jewelry I brought you or that ring, honey. You ain't going to see nothing. I disalarmed them things. You ain't going to know what the hell hit you. So she ain't do this right. And she needed me in her ear to tell her how to do it, child. Because, listen, I'm on my second, so I know how to do it. You ain't going and leaving with nothing. All right? Hey, Portia, you better wear it. <laughs> I know that's right, honey. Listen, listen. And, you know, I ain't even want to get on Nene right now because I'm not. I'll save that for another form of commentary so we can get to our final topic. Um because my client getting a little annoyed, okay? So I got to uh, I gotta wrap it up. But she didn't even know how to do it with Nene. You really should have played a little bit closely. And I'll say this. You really should have played a little closer with Nene, okay? You really should have played hopscotch with her a little bit. That probably would have been your way to get it done properly. But she, you moved too fast with that too, all right? But listen to each his own child. We got to teach these kids how to do it. Portia thought he would um, play fair. Yeah, but how do you think that when you woke up to that jerk, right? I think a lot of times we give men passes. You guys are familiar with Brianna, uh, 
She was married to Mr. LaTruth. They're big content creators over online. Um, and they recently, I don't know if the divorce is final or not, but she got a new boyfriend right after. Um, and this, this, this young man was coming in trying to use her. Um, at least that's what, what it seemed like. She moved well, way too fast with him and I'm trying to get somewhere. So stay with me. Right. She moved too fast with this, this young man. Um, and by her moving too fast, she was buying him all this jewelry child. Um, Oh man, she was buying him all this jewelry and celebrating birthdays and he was spreading it on thick, but you could clearly tell that he was, you know, using her. Okay. Um, you could clearly tell that he was not for her. He moved too fast. And at first she kept him in a friend zone and then he would get online and he'd be like, tell her to make me more than her friend, please, please, please. But his following, nobody knew who he was or nothing. Then she went and, you know, she got with him and they was having all this nice stuff going on and, you know, boost him up completely, all his following and all that. Come to find out now, um, they broke up, right? He got online and said he's big single. With that being said, here's the thing. She said that he keep calling her, um, he called her B-I-T-C-H's and he was like trying to act like he playing. Now, I'm, my point is that didn't just come out of nowhere, Okay. He's not just playing, right? Um, and that didn't just start, right? 153 likes, 190 in the chat. Let's keep hitting the like button, guys. That behavior didn't just come out of nowhere. She's like, it didn't try to laugh it off, right? Um, calling you a bunch of bees and then try to act like this, trying to um, act like you below them. Now you telling all that because you're not together. But baby, he been acting like that when you was over there buying him Rolexes, okay? The newest Jordans all this jewelry. Why do you think these niggas going to change because you brought them a gift? Girl, they was the jerk you nutted with yesterday. They was the jerk that nutted in you yesterday. And they was the jerk that's going to walk out to the sunset with your shit. Okay, so why do you think something going to change? And the same thing for Portia. He didn't just wake up uh, and become a jerk. He was a jerk the moment that he walked into your life. You saw him already be an active jerk to file it. What you thought it was going to change because your ass was bigger? It don't work like that. Unfortunately, okay, I don't care how big it is. I don't care how great it bounces. And I damn sure don't care how good it you smack it. Okay, it's going to still be the same jerk nigga that it was before you got hold of it. It's, it's point blank period. So I think we need to normalize that we slept with that jerk last night. Okay, we let that nerd, that jerk nut in us. Okay, and I don't care how you slice it and dice it. They gonna always be that jerk. So Portia didn't just wake up with him just being a jerk this morning because she filed for divorce. Niggas just don't get mad because they just get, they mad. No, they've been a jerk. They've been a sissy. They've been a punk, okay? They've been all those things way before you filed for divorce because that just don't come out of nowhere because I'm mad, all right? I don't just blast my wife of her personal things because I'm mad. I love her still, although we have to go and separate. I love her still, but I love her so much that I'm going to still protect her. I'm going to still protect her, right? And he does nothing to protect her because this is just who he is. And she knew that, right? But she put a muzzle on it because she's Gubadia and then she was stuck on the title and not principal. Does that make sense? Hi, Purple Unicorn. What's up, baby? Yeah, she was trying to get up under... She was trying to get up under a new one to get over the old one and got, got, exactly. Uh, hey, Purple Queen, I think I said hello. Um, let me see. Uh, shout out the, the Gap Band, all he would have saw was hangers. I know that's right. And polls, say that again. Sad part is Portia isn't a child. She's a grown dumb, grown and dumb. And is, there's no crying in baseball and no play fair in divorce. Child, you hit that. Let me ping you for a minute. Now that's the truth, child. Um, you better, <laughs> I think I read that one. Yes, honey, GoPro uh, camera. Exactly. All right, so let's get on to our final conversation. You guys know that we was talking about yesterday about a post that Melanie posted uh, about the puppets. And she, 202 in the chat, y'all hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button, okay? Um, it's imperative that you do. Um, let me go out and come back so I can see where our likes are at before I cover Melanie. Um, 
162 likes, guys. Let's get the likes to match. Let's keep it. There you go. I see y'all moving it up. 164. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Is in pair, honey. Portia definitely thought her pocketbook was going to change that man. Exactly. And it won't. Okay. With that being said, um, let's keep hitting the like button, guys. Keep hitting it. Uh, so we can talk and get through this chat. So Melody posted a puppet picture. And um, she basically was saying that she's not coming for um, the puppets, which she do see them, but she's coming for the puppeteer, okay? Which means the head nigga in charge, right? And by that, I think it was trending at some point, reposted it and put that uh, CK was definitely the puppeteer. Melanie reposted that post insinuating, yes, girl, you head on. And at the top of that, she says, period. Okay, which means that period means an agreeing. All right, I agree. I know you saw what I saw and heard what I heard. And girl, I see them. All right, so uh, although it didn't physically come out of her mouth, if you watch the story and pay attention, it's being alleged that... It's being alleged that, um, you know, that Carlos King is definitely, or the Big Bad Wolf is definitely the puppeteer or a participant of the puppets, all right? So, like I said yesterday, he's a disgusting human being, and I know that she sees what we see. I know that she, um, you know, she got her eye on them because they can't be trusted, right? So, even though she didn't physically say it out of her mouth, it's being alleged that he is definitely a participant of the puppets, okay? Now, if he put the puppets up to her, she coming for the head and not the tail, child. And she made that perfectly clear. Carlos King isn't any one friend. He isn't, right? And I believe she thought that in the beginning that he was genuine. Um, but I think she's learning him more and more each day. And she's not here for it, okay? Although she respects the position that he holds, um, and although she respects his position, she's not here for it. Um, and we all know that once she see who you are, she kind of would distant herself. So I bet that Carlos King uh, can't pick up the phone like he used to and get the responses that he used to now that he has showed her his whole ass, okay? Um, and I'm sure she watches just like we do. She just don't care to address it, right? Uh, so I'm sure he can't just pick up the phone and ask for favors of her, especially not since that podcast on the road thing has happened and he struck all those channels. I'm sure she like, no, 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 no especially black women. Yes, absolutely. Prosperity, um, thick girl. Um, I said it was him. Yes. That's definitely what the post said. I was trying to pull it up, but child, I got so much stuff screenshotted and mine be going a thousand miles per hour that, um, I be miss. Oh yeah. It did say that. Um, it's the repost of what she says. I see the puppets, but they're none of my concern. I'm coming to the puppets bet. I mean, for the puppeteer bet. And then trending at some point, pit Carlos King, in the middle of there, and Melanie reposted it and put period 100 with a checkmate, um, a check thing. Um, so she's agreeing that it definitely is him. Um, and like I said, it, it sucks to work with somebody that actually envy you and jealous of you. That sucks, right? Why are you jealous of me? What, what, what's the problem, right? All of these people supposedly have millions of dollars, have million dollar business. Why aren't you jealous of them? But you know why? Because Melanie don't sit around and suck his big toe nor his small toe or lick the cracks of his tail, okay? So because of that, he thinks that she thinks that she's better. In reality, she ain't checking for him or nobody else, okay? Nor is she competing with any of them. They just mad that asses can't catch up. Does that make sense? Okay, with that being said, um, so now he's like, oh, she ain't gonna kiss my butt like the rest of them. Every time they come on here, I thank Carlos. I, nobody's gonna stand up to him like Melody did on that on that podcast, traveling podcast thing. You know, Carlos, I wanna know when the hell y'all was gonna step in. They would have never did no shit like that, okay? They still run around there trying to get up under um, his good graces where he really ain't loyal to, loyal to nobody, all right? It's just business at the end of the day. And I'm sure she knows that it's business too, but like I said, even in business, you have some type of dignity, okay? And he doesn't have any. So it sucks to work for somebody that can't have sympathy nor dignity or a great form of character. That sucks, all right? So Carlos is the puppet to in my opinion, all right? No, Mel has always said she doesn't talk to him like that. Okay, Stephanie. Um, no, yeah, I don't believe she ever gave that to him, but I think he thought that he could be able to pick up the phone and ask favors of her, and she'd be like, yeah, okay, cool. But even if she wouldn't, then...
Even if she would then, she's definitely not going to do so now. This is so horrible to know your supposedly head producer is plotting against you with your ops when you've done nothing but be yourself. It is and it it is wait a minute. That's it and that's all. Do has always been puppeteer. Yes, I agree. I think the ladies who just quit Love and Marriage DC is a start of his humbling. Yes. Um to welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Uh let's see. Please hit that like button. Oh, thank you so much, Prosperity. Um, hi Taylor, what's up? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the chat. Um, no, okay, okay, okay. I read that one. Let me see. Uh, prayers to Baltimore residents. Yes, we're gonna talk about that later. Residents, they may have been involved in that terrible bridge collapse. I saw that. It is terrible. Uh, that's why he's mad, and he is because she's not kissing his tail. Okay, no um respect should be given because he gives none. Exactly. Um. I got you already, baby, but welcome to the chat. Um, how would she come for CK? Who's that, Dr. Ann? Who are we talking about? Um, she thought, let me say, she thought because he was part of Wu-Tang, it was a come up and um, hello, Char. Hello, 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 Sheila. What's up, baby? Make it do what it do what it do. There are too many um, complaints from various cast members all saying the same thing. He is not available. Yep, I told y'all that. That's why they went on Twitter and quit because he's unavailable. Um, he used her last year to be um, at this award show to introduce him. Yes, he did. I saw that. Um, in a spotlight, and then he turned around to use her again this year with the tour. Yep, and I don't believe he's going to be able to call her up for them favors anymore. I think she's done with that part of it. I don't think that's going to be done. I'm about 10 minutes away from the one hour live. I thank you all for joining me. Hit the like button, hit the like button, hit the like button. Um, I love your checkmates, and there's nothing you could do about it. And remember, don't y'all let nobody tell you nothing different. If you aren't following me on any forms of social media, go ahead and follow me at TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and X. Even now, Patreon is Shars Reality Number Six. If you aren't following my backup page, go ahead and follow me at Shars World Number Six. My Cash App and my email is linked in my bio section, as well as the description section, amongst other videos in this one. I love you. Until next time, checkmates. Bye. Mel has to see him for what he really is, snake, and act accordingly, and that goes for the cast, too. Hi, Marcy. Welcome to the chat, and you're absolutely correct. 211 in the chat. You guys have been amazing to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, bye.